Chai tea is a spiced milk tea that originated in India and can now be found in just about any coffee house all over the world. It starts as a black tea that's infused with ancient healing herbs such as ginger, cardamom, and cinnamon. This drink has warming and soothing effects for a sense of well-being. It's so delicious that I usually want to drink more than just one cup. To see how it's made, be sure to like and subscribe. I start by combining one teaspoon of black peppercorns, four pieces of cloves, one star anise, and four green cardamom pods into a mortar and pestle. I'll lightly crush or bruise them so that the flavors open up when they're steeped. Then I'll add them to my saucepan along with a piece of ginger, about one inch that's thinly sliced, two cinnamon sticks, and three cups of water. I'll bring it to a boil over medium-high heat for five minutes. The longer you let the spices boil, the stronger the flavor. If you like a bolder flavor, let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm reducing the heat to medium-low, and then I'll add in three black tea bags. I'll let them steep for another five minutes, and then I'll take them out. A strong black tea, such as Assam, is normally used as a base tea to stand up to all the spices and sweeteners without being overpowered. If you can't find Assam, I recommend using Darjeeling or your standard black tea from the market. Finally, I'll add in one cup of whole milk, one tablespoon of honey, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract into the steep tea. The whole milk and vanilla extract makes this drink super creamy while rounding out the flavors and giving it a subtle hint of sweetness. I'll give the chai a gentle stir and then I'll strain it into a cup. Mmm, surprisingly smoky but soothing. I love the black peppercorns because it really brings out the spice in this too. I can taste the spice. So good. Have you ever tried a chai tea latte before? If you haven't, give this recipe a try and let me know how you like it. I'll see you at the next coffee break. Bye!